mga hinigugma diha ni Kristo, my dear brothers and sisters, last Sunday in the Gospel, we were made aware of the importance of the Word of God, the importance of the Bible in our practical life. Today, the readings, particularly the Gospel, reminds us of the importance of preaching. Speakers or preachers have different styles or methodologies in order to capture the attention of their listeners and to convey the message that they want to impart. Some would tell stories, others have jokes to tell, and others have props or visual aids to show. During this time of the pandemic, we can readily access to online recollections and webinars and varied topics and speakers of our choice. Among the speakers we ad often admire is a person who speaks from the heart, somebody who is sincere and who touches the core of our being. In today's Gospel, we see Jesus speaking with authority. The people were astonished as they listened to him. They have never heard such kind of speaker before. For them, it is just different from the way the scribes and the Pharisees give their teachings. Everybody's eyes were fixed on him the gospel says, as he preached inside the synagogue. His words are coming from his heart and from his intimate relationship with his loving Father. His is an authority that is not domineering, nor an authority that is oppressive. His authority is an influential authority that penetrates the whole being of someone who listens to him with openness and with humility. Then we see Jesus expelling the evil spirit from the man. Jesus does not only speak with authority, he likewise heals with authority. Pope Francis says the only authority is the authority of service. We may add, certainly, the real authority is the authority of love, the authority that promotes growth of the person. In the scriptures, we see Jesus using his authority to serve the people. He fed the hungry, healed the sick, freed the spiritually oppressed, and forgave sinners. There is unity and authority in the words of Jesus and in the deeds of Jesus. Oftentimes, we look for models or persons who walk their talk. Persons with integrity who does what he says. It is a model for us when we look at Jesus, our Lord. He is the exemplar and the model. And so as we reflect on this example of Jesus, we are called, first of all, to open our hearts to Him and to imitate Him, that we may also be pleasing to our Father in Heaven. We all know that whether priest, catechist, parent, in fact, even peer, we, in many ways, give a message, in many ways, we teach, we preach. We would like to underline, may we walk our talk. 
it is often said that today's world listen more to witnesses than to teachers. And if they listen to preachers or teachers, it is because they are witnesses in the first place. And so, again, for many of us who are given the opportunity to preach, to teach, to give a seminar, to give a lecture, to share, may that cardinal rule, which is of course the way of Jesus, be a timely reminder for all of us that every word that comes from our mouth in forms of teaching is actually an expression of our own efforts to live what we teach. We know of many sterling examples of people who, even in their own simple ways, are real teachers, catechists, or preachers, because many see in their life the unity of their words and their actions. How beautiful to know of many a parent who in catechizing their children show what they teach by their example. A simple instance may be when they invite their children, let's now all of us go to church. The fact that the parent leads the children to the church is a good way of teaching them you know, the good example. My dear friends, today, as we are reminded of the importance of preaching, of course, we know the word, the message, and the messenger is seen in Jesus. May we allow Jesus' authority to reign in our hearts and to free us from whatever there is that enslaves us. And we also, we also use our authority, whatever authority we have, to serve our brothers and sisters, to show that we care and we love. It is even said that even if parents reprimand their children, as long as the children feel that this is done out of love, then that authority is perceived as indeed growth promoting and as serving for the good of the community. This is real authority and this is real preaching. As we continue this Mass, let us pray for all of us, but especially for those tasked with the gift of proclaiming the message that their proclamation reflect a life of witness, a life that shows intimacy with God so that everything that comes through our lips becomes an expression of a love that is in our hearts. And may the Lord make us a community of humble people open to the teaching that is true and noble and good that all of us may journey towards the Father as Jesus the message and the messenger wishes to happen to all of us and may Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen